In this video, we're going to look at a mixture problem, which involves prices rather than percents. A coffee is mi mix is to be made that sells for $2.50 by mixing two types of coffee. The cafe has 40 milliliters of a coffee that costs $3, and they want to know how much of another coffee that costs $1.50 should the cafe mix with the first. We organize these mixture problems in our mixture table, which has one extra row for all the totals. We found out with mixture problems, we take the amount times the part, or price, and that will equal the total amount of money invested in each type of coffee. We must be careful with what numbers go where. We're given this 250 first. However, that price of 250 is for the final blend that they're mixing. It needs to go in the final row, representing the final total. 2.5 is the price for the final result. The cafe also has 40 milliliters of a coffee that costs $3. We put 40 for the amount and 3 for the price. We want to know how much of another that costs 150 should be mixed in. We don't know the amount we're mixing in, but we do know it costs 150. As a quick check to make sure we're right, the bottom price should be between the other two prices. 250 is somewhere between 1.5 and 3, so I know I've got this set up right. We can finish filling in the table by multiplying the amount times the price. 40 times 3 shows us $120 invested in the first type of coffee. The other coffee is 1.5x, but we can't multiply yet our final result. To fill in that final amount, We'll add the above two amounts together, 40 plus x, and then distribute the 2.5 through. 2.5 times 40 is 100, plus 2.5x. As we only have one variable, we only need one equation that comes from the very last column. Adding the amount of investments together, 120 in the first coffee, plus 1.5x in the second coffee, equals 100 plus 2.5x of a total investment. We now have an equation we know how to solve. We get the variables on one side by subtracting 1.5x. This gives us 120 equals 100 plus x. Finally, we can subtract the 100 from both sides to get the x alone. This gives us 20 equals x. In order to make the coffee mix for 250, they need to blend in 20 milliliters of this coffee that cost 150. We found this solution by organizing the amount, the price, and multiplying to get the total. and then using the last column to give us our equation we want to solve.